Dr. Greeny here, and today we're testing Tesla window glass to see how it's going to affect UV light penetration to keep our skin safe. So we're gonna do some testing with a UV meter to see how much of that UV light is blocked through the window glass. Every window glass I would imagine is gonna be a little different depending on the tint, depending on what's on it. But I can tell you this, UVA light penetrates some window glass. UVB fortunately is actually blocked out a lot. So it'd be pretty rare for you to be inside any kind of window and actually burn or get redness on your skin because a lot of that light, the shorter wavelength the light is actually blocked out by the glass itself. But UVA rays that are a little bit longer penetrate window glass and they actually penetrate into the deeper layers of your skin and they can cause damage to collagen and produce signs of aging in your skin. I can tell you right now with a UV index of four, it is hot and I know I'm gonna burn in a heartbeat. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, by the way. If you haven't used it, it's awesome. It's completely clear. So if you have facial hair, if you're a guy or anything like that, you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of like white cast or anything like that it goes on completely clear as you can see it has a very interesting kind of uh, velvety feel on the skin so a really nice feel on the skin and no white cast so what got me thinking about this whole idea anyway was i was driving in the tesla and i was feeling some heat on my head now heat that you feel really isn't the same as like uv radiation so just because i'm feeling heat off the top of this glass doesn't necessarily mean that I'm getting UV damage. So got a UV meter. This measures UVA and UVB rays. We're gonna use this to see how much goes through the window glass. So I'm looking up at the sun here. I got a measurement of about 6.7 right now. So coming down pretty hot. Since it's the evening, it's not actually gonna be the most intense UV exposure of the day. Your UVA rays are gonna be present pretty much all the time, but UVB rays that are burning rays are a little bit less right now considering it's the evening. We're gonna close this door behind it. And actually, interestingly enough, this Tesla glass drops the UV rating all the way down to zero. Now, I wasn't really feeling a ton of heat coming through this door glass, but where I was feeling it was actually from the roof. So this whole Tesla roof is actually glass. If it's letting in UV light, that's a lot of damage that can get through. We're looking up at the sky, it's about a 6.4 right here. But if we put it under the uh, roof and see what light is transmitted through that glass, it actually drops it to a zero. So I'm pretty impressed here by the Tesla glass. It actually does a really good job of protecting against UVA and UVB light getting through. When you put it behind the door glass here for passengers in the back, it actually dropped it to zero as well. You know, these windows are not tinted. This is stock from Tesla. If we put this one behind the glass, this actually doesn't drop all the way to zero. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know if this glass back here just doesn't have the same built-in protection as the other glass, but obviously rear seat passengers are gonna get a little UV exposure through this small pane here. That's why it's always good to wear your sunscreen anyhow. So then we wanted to test my wife's car to see if it was any difference from the Tesla. Right now a 0.83, and we're gonna let her roll the window up and see if it blocks. Actually, it's still letting through a decent amount of light. So this means that every car and every window glass isn't made the same. Moral of the story, wear your sunscreen and sun protectant. Overall, I'm very, very impressed, especially as a dermatologist, as the Tesla protection. I was a little worried because when the whole roof is literally open, I'm worried about sun getting on my face, right? Sun always is gonna cause sunspots, wrinkles, skin cancer. So if you got this huge window of sunlight getting up on your skin, that's a problem. But Tesla has shown that they've actually protected the vast majority of glass with only a couple small panes that let through any UV light. But we're testing again in the evening and pretty much everything dropped to zero. So that's awesome. So congrats to Tesla. I hope this review was helpful for you guys to look at how protective Tesla glass is in preventing sun exposure and UV damage to your skin. I'll see you in the next video.